Here's what the pool typically looks like when I open it first thing in the spring. Notice the water level by the light at the far end of the pool. This is with all the additional snow and rain that we would typically get over the winter season. So I order a truckload of water and uh, fill up the pool. Uh, unbeknownst to me, I have a leak. So once the pool was full, this is the water level right up to here. And then after three days, the water went all the way down to the top of the light again. So I lost a substantial amount of water. As you can see, almost an arm's length of water gone. So what I did is I went to the grocery store, bought some food coloring, and uh, when you drop food coloring in the water uh, and it's not moving, uh, this is what it's going to look like. The dice is going to drop in, not dissipate too much, and uh, I did that around the entire pool to find out where water was moving. Now when you do this, obviously turn off your filter. You don't want any move, unnecessary movement of the water. And so here for demonstration purposes, I drop the die into the skimmer area, and as you can see, the die gets pulled into the skimmer, and that's exactly what I was seeing when I put this die by the pool light. So I found this product at the pool store, A plus B epoxy, and it's used for waterproofing um, and repairing uh, leaks. Molds like clay uh, cost me $18.95 in total, which I thought was a very good deal because anyone else coming in would cost me hundreds of dollars. And it molds like clay and cures white and it actually cures underwater, which obviously was a, a great benefit. Once I get the A package here, nice and clearly marked. And here's the B. So this is the resin, and this is what actually makes it hard, is the B. And so all you have to do is really just take out equal portions of A and B. So what I'll do is I'll just pull back the wrapping a little bit more. Just cut it with a razor blade. And as you can see, they actually give you some tape uh, measures on the side, so it makes it uh, easy to figure out equal amounts. But you can eyeball it. It works just as well. Again, just expose a little bit more here of the hardener. And so all you want to do it looks a little gooey, but it's not too bad. It's cut off a portion. It's kind of like um, kid's putty. Maybe a little stickier, but not too bad. And so I'm going to cut off a, an equal portion of the hardener. And there you go. That's about, yeah, maybe a little more B, but there you go. Equal amounts. And so all you're going to do is just mix them together. Literally like that. And what I found is if you just roll it up into in your hands like this and then twist it a couple of times, you get it you get it nice and mixed up. And so what you have to do at the end is it has to be a consistent color. You can't sort of see the the white and the the tan that's no good that's not going to work for you so just keep rolling it in your hands now the box says you should wear some hand protecting material like a glove or something like that but I've used it three or four times now and uh, I had no irritation so I got a band-aid on because I cut my finger yesterday but um, it'll wash off with soap and water or just or even a wet cloth and so there you can see, almost done. You can, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but there's still a little bit of mixture. So you got a little bit ways to play with that little bit of time, so it's not real rush. So then, once it's in the form you need, color consistency, now you're ready to apply it wherever you need to apply it. 
So here's what was interesting about this particular problem. The leak was behind the light. And only once I filled the pool up initially um, was there enough pressure on the water to actually force it out behind the light. So that's how I detected it using the dye. And uh, really where the leak was is this cable uh, goes up to the top of this housing and then through that housing was where the water was leaking from. Now, the old owner had some old caulking there and basically the caulking had just it worn out because that hose is that that electrical line is flexible and so that moved the caulking around and hence that's what generated the leak. So I had to drain the pool below this light. So once the water was drained I applied the epoxy uh, to the top part of the housing and what I'll do here is just using a handheld mirror so you can sort of see inside uh, the housing. That white is the epoxy that I applied and you know used a healthy amount wrapped it around the cable making sure that there was absolutely uh, no leak uh, to be uh, had and uh, the product worked uh, amazingly well. Now I let it dry overnight uh, I didn't fill the pool back up immediately and then when I did fill it back up I only filled it a, a little above the light to make sure that it wasn't leaking before I spent another truckload of water on the pool. So here it is job complete and uh, families enjoying the pool once again so hopefully this helps.